Hello, this is Greystoke, executive producer of Flip Script Radio, Hip Hop's New Crib, and the ever so popular Tales from the Flip with host Phil G. The Nobody. As the exec, sometimes decisions have to be made that are not so popular around the copier, if you know what I mean. Case in point, Phil G. The Nobody. Everyone said him? Are you freaking nuts? Yeah, but you're wrong about Phil G. The kid's got something. They said, how can he do a live show when he's dead? I said, um, fuck, I'm not sure. But dead men tell no lies, so at least he's an honest zombie. They said he can't do a show by himself. I said, bullshit, he does everything by himself. He's the script keeper and I believe in him. Not because he's an honest zombie hermit from the swamps of Opalaka, Okeechobee, Alligator Alley, but because he's hip hop to the bones. And he haunts my room every night. So please listen to Phil G to Nobody every Sunday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Mixler.com for the best of the FTSR archives. Chill, Phil. Go away, fool. I need some sleep already. You tuned in to flip the script, cause fuck all that other shit. Phil G the nobody. You're listening to Grace, Mateo, Dave Rock, and the one and only DJ C Reality. Get your bars in. Big shout, Mad LT. Killer Kyle, Blocka Blocka, what up? Salute. Across America and around the world, once again, you're listening to the Hour of the Time, the early edition. I'm William Cooper, and tonight, folks, we wish you all. Christmas. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Back. Almost 2,000 years ago, in a small town in the Middle East named Bethlehem, a child was born and was given the name Jesus. I hear in my travels around this great nation, wherever I go, people tell me that they're just one person that there's nothing that they can do to change the world, or to make it better or worse. They're just one lonely, helpless, insignificant person. I wonder what the world would be like today if Jesus of Nazareth had felt or thought or believed the same thing. The top of the hour. Time for your favorite morning man. <laughs> What's the matter? You've never seen a shock jock before? <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Bobby, Jesus, Bobby, it's your birthday, Jesus. It's your birthday, Jesus. <laughs> Tales from the flip, 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 flip. <laughs> what the fuck is good, flippers? It's your boy Phil G to nobody. This is. Tales from the Flip, you are listening to Flip the Script Brady, oh, 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 bringing you the very best, or Tales from the Flip is bringing you the very best, <laughs> of the FTS archives, minus the FTSR staff, pause. <laughs> we got a very special night for you, we're not taking you back too far, but we got a very legendary guest, you know what I'm saying, P.M. motherfucking D, Parrish Smith. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. Taking your stinking asses back to September 6, 2017. This is episode 52. Gonna hit you with the exclusive interview from the kitchen room. You know what I'm saying? 
Also got some dope freestyle live representation. Also featuring John Jigs and RJ. Just listen. Happy born day to Jeebus. You know what I'm saying? Have a very special day tomorrow. Good looks for tuning in. Big up to Curse. Big up to C Rizzo. Keep it locked, Lippin'. PMD. Night, <laughs> Doubt, rest in peace, Camu Uh oh. Yeah. Dad, yeah. what'd you walk in here with? What is that? Is that a urine sample? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Five cans of Krylon. <laughs> Get your that. sister to stop peeing in bottles, man. That's Mike, not, Mike that's not gonna work. <laughs> It's that local Word, old show. Good to see you, man. It's been a minute. Mixed with Mad Dog. So we got we got a uh, the chat room is kind of full already. The chat it's room is full. They, yeah, they know what was going on tonight, man. It just right. started too. It's crazy. We got right. a lot of music tonight. We got Parish in here. You got it's a lot to talk about. New joints off the new off the new album. Yeah, man. You want to get on the mic real quick and just say peace to everybody so they don't think we're lying to them that you're in the place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, check one two. MC's out there. You better stand clear. PMD is a world premiere. Chilling on Flip the Script Radio. All right. Day, oh. baby. You got to chill. That, that was a drop. <laughs> that was That's a drop. A drop, man. drop. We need right. that. We'll say that again. <laughs> we're gonna need you to do that about forty more times before we're gonna get a good recording. He's got that new album out, Business Mentality. We're gonna go over that. He's got a lot of things going on, tour, everything, and he made the trek out here to be with y'all at Flip the Script Radio here in Brick City. To the lovely Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. Known worldwide for its beautiful scenery hey, and uh, hey. but he, he oh, maybe not. All right, never mind. He also bought the shotgun, man. John Jiggs with him. Yo, John Jiggs, John step Jiggs. up, man. John Jiggs on the MI. Where's he at? Man, I was telling people. I was. What, I up, was, what up? What up? I was having this hip hop conversation the other day. I was like, Yo, I found a new biggie. I found a new biggie. John yeah. Jiggs. <laughs> John Jiggy. Yo, that's what's up, man. I grew up. <laughs> I grew up on Big, man. That's an honor. Yo, yeah. salute, man. Salute to you, man. Yo, thing, man. I've been, I've been keeping up, man. You're busy. I like that. I appreciate it, man. You're doing your thing, man. You're staying busy. That's, and check, that's check him out on good, YouTube, man. man. He was here the last time. Crazy video of him freestyling. So you got to check that out on our, on our YouTube channel, John yeah, Jiggs. Man. Everybody follow, man. What's up? I right, swear so we're getting some joints. We got a lot of music. We got shout, a lot of music. Shout out to everybody for all the submissions that they sent in. We got a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Um, I have somebody specifically I wanted to shout that sent some music. Dave's going to kill uh -huh. himself with. Uh, a uh, bottle of Brugal. Uh, what is that? That's Henny. Oh, all right. I got the bottle of Henny. That's, yeah. right that's a Coco Tasso right there. Yeah, let's go. Let's all go. Right. Let's the script radio. Here we go. Paris Smith in the place. We'll be back. Billy in Descent. What yeah. up? I like that right there. Yeah, yeah. I, never, I never heard this one. I figured I'd put on something that's <laughs> yeah. never been heard before. All right. Yeah, never heard of this. What planet? Paris Smith on the mic, y'all. Yeah, yeah, Round of applause. Welcome, Paris welcome. Smith. All right. Flip the script radio. We welcome you, man. Flip the script. Good looking, man. Good to be here. I've said many times that that EPMD to me was one of the reasons I fell in love with hip hop. They, they were like the cool in the gang of hip hop to me. Yes. Bought in the choppers in '87. <laughs> you know what I mean? Word up. Flip seven minutes of funk when there was no sampling machines. The Tom, you know, Charlie Murata. How how do you do it? You remember? Was it do you use like the reels or? Yo, no. Basically, what he did was take a pencil and tie it to a chair, mm -hmm. and tape uh, four minutes of the loop Crazy. to another reel that was recording. And then once we have four minutes of that on the reel, then we turn the mic on. Crazy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yo, see, people take all the shit. For, history. People take yes. all the shit for granted nowadays. You see how difficult it was? Had to be innovative. You had to know about the joints. You had to know what yeah. records. You know what I'm saying? People yeah. were digging. So who's responsible for the Dookie Rope Chains? Uh, the Dookie Rope Chains was here before we got here, before we even signed the contract. Yeah. Uh, you know, Biz was rocking the fat yeah, chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the Rock him paid him full album jacket, nothing but jewels all on the yeah, back yeah, of that, yeah. fat rope chains. So, you know, Fat Boys rocked it. Run DMC rocked it. Right, right, right. So, yo, by the time we got there, we threw on the Fisherman hat, the Thames. It is. And the, and the, the Cole grabbed the mic like I'm on so train. I don't think did it like you guys did it, though. Nah, be because we, yo, because we was the la we was like the children of that era. We was the last ones to come in. So Kane was already yeah, here, Rakim yep, was already yeah. here, Slick Rick was already that's here, right, Dougie, right. MC Light, Audio Two. So mm -hmm. EPMD was the last ones on board. So we just came in all happy because you know we already knew what time it was. Right. In my in my book, I got you guys as the best rap duo, like hands down. I have to agree. With I wouldn't yeah. disagree. Hip hop Hall of Fame, hands down. Got to do it. Best best rap duo ever. Yo, that's ever. big. That's big, man. Yeah. Really appreciate no, that. Yeah, and came in tough. Pause. Yeah. Yes. But. yes. <laughs> oh, yo, wow, and straight wild. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Listen, <laughs> this guy's on probation. Early, <laughs> early, pay, pay real no early. We're not even three minutes in, right? I'm feeling it. Hey, we right. didn't talk a lot in the beginning. Usually we get it all out the way there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yo, your brother, your brother had was involved in the in the, in the business somehow, right? Was that, was, was yeah, he? my brother is Smitty D. He had Smitty D in the Rock Squad. That's how I got on. Okay. You know, uh, he didn't put me on, but uh, he just was doing so much stuff in the early days with Zulu mm -hmm. back in 78, 79. We was from Long Island. They was from the BX. So my brother was bringing basically hip hop to Long Island and block parties and stuff like the uh, the YMCA. Word. And I was about 12, 13 watching it. Then Wild Style came out. Mm -hmm. You know, my sister was running with uh, Rodney C. So I had oh, the shit. instrumental plates. So I was cutting all of that before the movie actually came out. Oh, right? shit. So once I got the opportunity, got a little older, I asked my brother for the number from Charlie Murata. <laughs> Went in there with seven minutes of funk because, there you, you know, they used to rock in the Bronx, the mm -hmm. uh, T Connection, Bronx River. And on those tapes, every night they brought them home. The biggest song to get the MC going and the cheaper cheaper to the front was this my thing. Ooh. There you go. Yeah. So once I put that on, and then me and Eric made the record, then we brought it to Mr. Magic w w World Premiere, because that's all MCs wanted to get back there. Mm -hmm. And then of course, Red Alert, who is Zulu, the beat was real familiar to him. So, you know, he played it. And then from there, we started rolling. So what's up with Eric? You guys were like buddies on the block, or when, where do you guys meet at? Oh, whoa, 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 hold now let me stop. See, yeah. I was rubbing uh, off over here, my man over here. Uh, I gotta pause that, though. Yeah, he said, yo. <laughs> I don't know, is that some, is that some new code? Yeah. Buddy's on the block? Yo. Buddy's on the block? Oh, oh, man. That's new? Just yo, don't sit too close. Just share, where'd you meet up? Paul. Yo, yo, but, uh, yo, no, E-Dub, uh, he lived in Regis Park, which is over the tracks in Brentwood. Yeah. Okay, that's where it really was really popping with the wow. MCs, the break dancers, the DJs, everybody was coming from there. Then he moved to my neighborhood on the other side of the tracks on the next block. And then from there, naturally, he went to our school. So in the morning, he was the new guy at the bus stop. Yeah, okay. And then once I seen him, you know, he was very reserved in the whole nine. And you know, Brentwood and kids and hip hop and blah, blah. Energy was up there. So that's why we started kicking it from there. Then he kicked, started kicking verses and rhymes. And then plus he could break dance. Oh, really? Yeah, he thought it was nice. That. Yeah, he Word? was a pop along kid back okay. there. Well, yeah. I would have never imagined that. Yeah. Why is that? Well, not breakdancing, windmill spinning, but like just oh, rock, oh, popping, yeah, yeah. Yeah. popping, you know, the oh, Steve man. Austin yeah. and stuff like that. You <laughs> yeah. do the Ellen Brella, yeah, remember yeah. in the rain, all yeah. of you know what I'm saying? The chest pop up, the heartbeat, yeah, yeah. or oh. when you go eat a cat's head and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whoa, pause, hold yeah, on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad oh, you caught it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's good. Pause police. If we ever have Eric, <laughs> yeah, pause police if we ever have Eric on the show, then we got, we're going to bring that up. We're going to say oh, yeah. Parrish was here and said that you were doing... Um, Knee spins and uh, oh, spinning oh, on rocking. your shoulders. <laughs> right, right. That like he had a mean worm. Pause oh, again. Whoa, hold <laughs> up, yo, guys. Yo, <laughs> All right, show's <laughs> over. All right, start <laughs> over again. Children, Dude, children, man. let's 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 grow up for a second. No, we got yeah, Patrick yeah. Hey, look, man, it's hip hop. Wait man. a minute. This is hip -hop. Hey, Paul We're Simon chilling. said, "Me and Julio down by the schoolyard." That shit was classic, man. What the hell's going on? Nobody paused him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what's going on? Well, what's the next verse after the schoolyard? Nah, though? Nah, I don't remember. Who knows? Oh man, yeah, right. Y'all got stuck there, right? It don't matter. Because we all paused it. Yo, but you, when you were talking about your brother and all the, and the cats that were doing it in those early days, I don't think a lot of people realize that there's a whole, like, hip-hop history that was happening at that at that time yep. that people just, I mean, because I guess people weren't listening yet, labels weren't really paying yeah, attention right, yet. right, right. But there was so many founding people that were doing this shit that just never really get talked about. People just don't know that they exist. You know yeah, what I'm there's no question. Like, back then when we was rocking, it was kind of sitting still for a second. But then once we put on DOS effects and then it got commercial, then they sold about two million records. That's when the major started kicking in. Right. And then from there, you got the artists that you have. But before that happened, mm -hmm. you know, you got the Cool Herc's, you got all the people, the Grandmaster Flash, and you got to go back before that, the King right. Tim the Third, right. you know, Wizard Theodore, mm -hmm. like all of these guys put in time to make it possible for us to even exist in 2017. Right. And you yeah. mentioned you mentioned the crossover stuff. Now, was that when you guys did that joint? Like, did you see the writing on the wall? Like, did you see what was coming? Was there, Crystal clear. Was there industry like inside things? that were happening because I know as a DJ man at the time the music was getting real watered down everybody was kind of jumping on the bandwagon yeah <laughs> yeah right right Word. yeah well that's what it was it's like okay you know when you start anything and you're watching from an outside you want to make sure that uh, the art form hip-hop continue to grow and back there our biggest challenge was you thought hip-hop was going to be a fad right. a lot of people said it was trash music and that it wasn't going to grow so once we started putting in the energy and then it became it, it became obvious that the music was going to be here for a while that's when the shift came right okay but before you had a contract before you got on it's like uh 
you know, large professional. I'm looking at the back door. Mm -hmm. Cats feel hesitant to represent, which means when you on the outside, you say, yo, man, if I get down, I'm going to represent. Right. Then once you get in there thinking about a pop record, something mm -hmm. made for the station, yeah, a whole new relationship. Mm -hmm. So now you don't went from wanting to be down, okay, to get the approval from your peers. Like we wanted to get the approval of Rakim, get the approval of Run DMC, the approval of Cool J and Big Daddy Kane. Because yeah, they were the criteria. Yes, the time, that's right? the yo, right. the founder fathers. What's the Mount Rushmore rap? You know what I mean? And then the right side of things. Once it started growing, it was up to you. You know, do you want to go for radio? You got to understand it was college radio that was holding us down back there because mm -hmm. there was no regular radio. And the regular radio that was playing, we only got one hour. So if your joint didn't get played, you had to wait till next Friday to hear it again. But at least, like we were talking about before the show started, at least at that time, you had a chance of getting that joint heard. You know, yeah. there, there was, you know, like Red would take risks. He would break records. Yep. That kind of stuff's not happening now. Like new artists now. I mean, everybody and their brother got music out on a worldwide platform. Yep. But yeah, everybody's doing yeah, it. Get, so, get but so. again, you got to remember that goes back to the days of when Hammer was making Can't Touch This or uh, Vanilla Ice, you know, Ice Ice Baby. Yeah. You know, me and he talk about this in our show every night. Okay. That's one form of hip hop. But it was very important for us to pull up and do the crossover like, yo, this is our version of hip hop. Right. So just like you seeing all of this now, that's that type of music in this era of 2017. But then now you look at Flip the Script, you look at the mics and shit, you know what I'm saying? Equalizer. Right. Yo, so we're seeing this around the world where you're walking in and you're seeing the turntable spinning and there's a group of five cats. So this mm. is kind of like the new college radio to break records. All right. Yeah. I like that. And then, well, you know still, I mean? a, still a platform. I was going to yeah. quit. This was, was, was going to be my last show, actually. I wasn't yeah, going right. to say nothing yet, but since you said that, I'll hang around. Yeah, don't I... throw in the towel <laughs> yet. Don't, don't, don't hold the towel. <laughs> Man, you don't have to name names, but uh, the crossover, man, that was that was aimed at specific people, right? Yeah, well, no, well, I, well, put it this way. When you're going on a mission and you're trying to uh, represent hip-hop in this form and it's so real and then you see it starts to take a turn, then you're supposed to feel some type of way, you know what I mean? Right. Starting from strictly business and then you get the business never personal. Mm -hmm. And instead of representing now, now the art form is looking lucrative. Mm -hmm. So how loyal are you to hip-hop? Don't sell yourself short, don't right. cut your money. But realize a lot of the artists who went and bought your records and supported you, supported you under the fact that you was going to represent hip hop. The culture, you know right. what I mean? The did, culture. Did you see a lot of groups and personal friends of yours doing that at the time? Yeah, well, it seemed like in 92 when I left, it looked like the crossover crossed over. Yeah. And then now we hear like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what, uh, God, I would love to hear Hammer and uh, Vanilla Ice today over these kids today. I'm telling right? you. <laughs> what, what we, 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 I would take that. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely. take that any day over these kids. I would take it. Um, yeah. Now, but, you know, how was the, the whole relationship with Sleeping Bag? Now, were they considered like an independent at, the, at the, you know, at the, during those times, like the, by those standards? Or? Yo, it's kind of ill because I was a DJ before I emceed. I was DJ Easy P slash DJ Black Cloud. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I already had the crates of records. Pops bought me the full DJ set when I was 14. 10, 15 inch woofers, turntables. Right. Shout to Pops for yo, you get him big, started. Yo, and the big thing was the echo chamber. If you ain't have the hey, echo oh, chamber, you, you, ain't, you ain't have the whole set. Like one, two, two, and as I say, 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 <laughs> I'm in not, the house, house. And not the one that comes not the one that comes with the Gemini mixer either. No, no, not, no, the, not, not that the, one. Yeah, not not, the not with the limited channel. I'm talking about the real, the box where you walked in and you'd be like, okay, it's definitely going down. Crazy. How did you guys know that you had something that you really like, you know, you felt like you were, you were going to take off? Was it one person that got you close to there or was it one song that you got, yo, we're going to make it? Yeah, it was me. It was you? It was me being around hip hop since I was 13. My brother was signed to Tommy Boy Records, Smitty D and the Rock Squad. He would take me up to the label. You'll see the Force MDs Christmas time doing flips, you know, yeah. performing live and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Then right after that, then Planet Rock came out. Then after that, Jazzy Sensation. So I used to see Jazzy Jane when I was 12 and 13, 14, come out to Long Island on the turntables. You know, this is right. when they was marking it, like Flash would say, putting the arrows on it. Mm -hmm. And it just was intriguing. Last night changed it all. Mm -hmm. Like just yeah. all of these, you know, peace the president and stuff like that. Well, well I got to ask you, man, because you mentioned it, because I've heard a lot of mixed opinions about the Planet Rock record. A lot to a lot of like purist cats, they'll say that that record was kind of like the beginning of the end. 
you know, they were touching on that whole like electro kind of thing that was happening at the time. It wasn't really hip hop. That's why, like, when Run DMC kind of brought what the street was doing to mm. record, people were like, "All right, now we're talking." But yeah. you know, Planet. I mean, it definitely has its place in history. You can't diss Planet Rock, but right. did people feel some kind of way at that time about that record? Like, what is this? Is some other shit? Like, was it? Yo, I think at the time, I it, it wasn't really a problem because then you you the B boy and the B girl was respected at that time. Yeah. So Planet Rock was getting a lot of light from breakdancing too. So a lot of people, that was their song that they threw on. That's what got me okay. started in breaking. Yo, in. and the same thing, like, you know, back then when we was in school, that that was the song that you used in the in the competition yeah. when it was battling yeah. another crew when Planet Rock came on. Well, Matt used to uh, make out to his girl with Planet Rock. I don't know if you <laughs> did, oh, still yeah. do. If you ever told you the story, they call him. Do. They used to call him Friction back in the day. That was his. Uh... <laughs> <That's not friction. laughs> no, nah. and it was Planet rhymes with rock. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyway. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe anything you said. Bananas. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yo, but the whole point was being 13 and listening to all of this magical music, Shaw Rock, Debbie D, right. you know, Rodney C, Double Trouble, Double 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 Trouble. Mm -hmm. You only can, you know, my brother and sisters was actually going to the shows and experiencing this. Mm -hmm. I can only wait till four o'clock in the morning to get the tape because at the end from the Bronx River, they yeah. would sell them a tape of the show that they went to. Right yeah. off the board so from that. four o'clock, all right, I'll be waiting. They come sneak in the window because my parents didn't know they snuck out i'll get the tape hop back in the car and yo when that is my thing came on that was it so we kind of had a little up from back as a teenager yeah. so once we got the opportunity went in the studio and looped that it took off yeah you mm -hmm. had your foot in the door back then it was a break beat. yeah mm -hmm. yo and actually the break beat that i looped was scratched so sleeping bag records hooked it so we can catch up with audio 2. audio uh -huh. 2 met uh, eric and i at the latin quarters and then from the Latin quarters, we drove to Charlie Murata and laid down the clean uh, mix of. I heard that song. story about the scratch yeah, in the real. record. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, no, shout out crazy. to Awesome too. If you, had, if you could pick one song that you and Eric did, man, what's your favorite? I don't know what mine is. <laughs> Who do you ask? <laughs> I didn't ask you. Who's the yeah, guest you're right. here? You're right. You're right. Who's so, the guest? Yo, it's kind of crazy, man. <laughs> See, because now this is kind of unorthodox and it's kind of different, all right? So when you ask a question like that, it's kind of wild. Like, you got the classics in the given that people right. say, yo, it's my thing. Yo, and of course, that's not your favorite you chill. No, they all are. But okay. now, like, just really getting back into the music and the whole nine and playing the picture back, what the fun and the joy really was, mm -hmm. I think... I would have to say get the Bozak. Oh, oh. get the Bozak. Oh, get the Bozak. Yo, that might be my because favorite. That's when, yo, that's when me and Eric was kind of out of control and, and Rush Management had to put the reins on and Public right. Enemy, yo, that's when they had the, you know, because they were like, yo, listen, stick to the hits. Stick right. to it's my thing. Yo, they yeah, know yeah. this your customer, but me and he was on some while I'm making and taking and shaking and flaking, pre yeah. my, and we just kept going back and forth and it was really no hook. At the end, we just said, yo, get the Bozak. But that, but that leads into something else though, because, you know, the fan base was loyal back then like yeah if you did that it wasn't like oh they're, they're coming with some other shit we can't listen to them no more they they gave you the, like the, the fans would stick with you with that kind that's of, correct you know what I'm yeah saying? like and you know that's kind of missing nowadays man like people because music is so formulaic now when people yeah. stray away from the formula they try to get slightly artistic then people just want to you know jump ship on the artist and it didn't like back in the day it seemed like people if they were fans they were fans they hung around you yeah know? but i think now because uh you know the technology the fruity loops you know the music is thin and it's all digital yeah. that's yeah. why on this album right here business mentality yo i went back to like actually playing the keyboard and the music through the keyboard as opposed to placing the music with the mouse yeah. or placing the rhymes and flying vocals and yeah. stuff like that applause for that yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? that gets a round of applause real, 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 real applause right. for that one all right got right now business yeah. mentality what's going on with that man is that, that's all you You're producing yeah. it and everything yeah nice yeah it's fun you know it's like basically my first three solo albums i wasn't you know i did them yeah but now you know we're in 2017 you see what's going on out there we're in the yeah. technology era and you know the epmd we rock and that's a major level but then on the underground circuit you know that's me where i rock and when i rock over there mm. it gives a lot of the artists opportunities that they wouldn't get yeah so a lot of times if i go on a tour to europe or i rock a couple of shows you know there's other artists on the underbill like kind of like what chuck d used to do with the hip-hop guards tour right mm -hmm. you know you already know the big artists but then there's some artists that had hit records back there where they don't tour as much yeah. so that's where the pmd project business mentality come in it's a platform it's a platform for new artists 
okay. but it also allows us to hit the road like when we went out with DJ Hondo on Underground Connection and oh, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. You just get to see Europe from a different lens. But that was one of the things I always respected about you guys on. I think that's the the downfall of a lot of like legendary artists is that they're not tuned into like things that are happening now. Like before, like you mentioned like Snow Goons. Yeah. Like the fact that you up on cats like that you could talk to some people from you know from our era and they're like you know if it ain't from 30 years ago they never heard of it you know what wow. i'm saying like yeah. you know but it's, it's good to see that you're tuned in yeah because like that. that's part of your job of course you know you right. got to know what's going on like yo strictly business that was one album now unfinished business times has changed that's why right. we came in with k solo mm -hmm. then business as usual times change again that's when red man come in you know you keep the youth around you but so it's you quality stay tuned. yeah quality quality music. across the board so you guys were acting like you were like a filter you were doing like a and r work at the same time no Pretty. question but it was for the better of hip-hop to right. make sure right. that it didn't become a fact now that gets applause you gotta give that a round of applause yeah that gets applause because those guys you mentioned that you brought under uk solo red man yes monsters das effects keith das Murray. Effects. Yeah. Keith so Murray. we got joints we got a couple joints that you guys sent you want to get into uh yeah which which one you want to get into off of that uh, i hope i have i got whatever you sent so hopefully uh you know what i guess yo, you got how many times i will check yeah yeah i can't wait to hear these joints uh I've digit out i've been seeing you doing your rounds too battle zone shout out to dj soul buck yes big shout out yo big shout out to lord seer shout out to yeah. lord seer you yes. better get his butt over here again He's too all funny, of it, man. All of it. We gotta always pick him up, though, so he might not get over here. I watched Lord Shear walk down one block for eight minutes. Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> <wait>. <laughs> Yo, that's a real, real OG. He's been around for a uh, long, long, long you. time. He came here and blessed everybody with a nickname. I don't want to tell you. The I nickname. tell the story all the time, man. My oldest daughter is 21 now, and I got a picture of him at her first birthday party eating chicken wings <laughs> so he got heat wow, at least 21 right he got heat for days but yeah. I, I got him with that picture because he was wearing some he was wearing some tims that looked like loaves of bread <laughs> <out of street. laughs> hold up wait yo yo who made, who made that beat uh, i made that track i put that together wow All that right. That beat. I punched BB in the face before he got here. That's, that's a hard that beat. That was you and RJ on that, right? Yeah, uh, that's RJ the realest on yo, that. Yo, RJ, step to the mic, man. Yo, yo RJ. RJ. RJ's in the place. Yep. Yo, that was a West Side Highway at 3 a.m. Yo, yo, no question. West Side said, Highway, 3 a.m. Yeah. Who Word said up. Who said I treat your boys that act like frat brothers? They all stepping. Who, who said that? That's man. RJ. That's oh, oh. Right yes. oh. Okay. You, that's a yo, murderous. just wanted to put some real hip hop together with no politics. Yeah, I think you kind of accomplished that on yo, that one. Good looking, man. That's <laughs> the real one. Yeah, man. That's the kind of shit that incites violence in a good yeah. way. Yo, you see, yeah. you hear the bird in there, right? Yeah, you hear yeah, the bird yeah. coming, yeah. you know, tighten we, up. We might have to, <laughs> we see. might have to block the door and hit RJ with an instrumental. I, I got worried uh, when I saw everybody walk into the alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> see if the light. Yeah, yeah. If the yeah. Latin Quarter was still around, that that record would oh, be yeah. like when PSK used to come on, those yeah. stick up kids used to come out. If yeah, that tuck, was still happening, <laughs> if that was happening, if that was still happening, that would be the joint that would be a, in a good way. Yeah, that's the one. Word up. <laughs> Word up. If the rest of them are like that, I want to hear like the next seven. Let's do it. What we got next? No doubt. I want to hear, hear some more. Pick, oh, pick yeah? another one. Yeah. Okay, so let's check uh, "Slow Your Roll." Slow your roll. Slow like, your roll. I like the sound of it already. Yeah. That's What's the backstory on, on that one? Yo, Slow Your Roll is another hip hop, like just straight listening to. I didn't realize hip hop was doing that bad. You know, you'd be out there and you hear people and you hear it and you hear it. Yeah. But then once you hear it and you start getting focused and you start to realize what's missing. Mm -hmm. And then once you realize what's missing, you put there what you feel in your heart for your audience of true hip hop. Right. And that's a mistake that so many artists make. They try to do what they think people want to hear instead of just doing what they do for Yo, their fans. No, nah, when you come in, if you if, if you selling peanut butter and jelly, then that's what you continue to sell. Word. You know, you don't sell P and J and then the people come back next week and you're like, Yo, I got mirror. Miracle Whip. <laughs> like, okay, yo, guy. Miracle Whip. You know what I mean? Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, who yeah. produced this one? Uh, that's me too again. I'll All right. slow your rope. Yeah, this, this was the first joint that I heard because you got that little like snippet of it. Yeah, right? in the I, beginning. I was like, damn, this shit's over already? Can't be, how's that shit? Yeah, man? that's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the whole point. Yeah. And RJ, you, you're on that one too, right, RJ? Yeah, yeah, for a fact. Okay, all right. So let's get into this one, yo. This is get your tape decks ready for this yes, one. Yes, business mentality, slow your rope. This is crazy. All day. This oh. is a, this is another. It might want to make you slap your mom if she's around. Yeah. All right. So here we go. She probably <laughs> she probably deserves it. So do it. Fuck never. It. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Are right. you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you don't know my Yo, mom. I'm loving the balance. You don't know my mom. Oh my god. Or maybe Jeez. you do. 
All right, here we go. Flip Script Radio. Yes. You should have left them on the street when you found them. You're coming down here with these people. I robbed several people in the kitchen room. Yo, that that okay, right there. See that that's that's what's missing, man. That's chat room went crazy, man, when that shit. Yo, good looking chat room. Chichi uh, came in here with guns blazing. Yeah, Cause she heard that shit from the from the alleyway. She shot four. We, we don't even know her. She was just walking. <laughs> she was walking by. She said. Is that a PMD joint? Let me. Wow, know. that's crazy. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> she, she shot Dave, but the song made Dave bulletproof. But I will tell you, we Stupid. did we did have some people walk in here one night while we were on the air, and <laughs> everybody just assumed that the other person knew them. They were in the wrong house. Yeah, we shook their we hand. Shook their we shook their hand. and walked in and left. <laughs> the, guy, the guy took a shot before he left. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yo, because you see how all the houses out there look. Yeah, they all look we went the same. to two wrong houses, knocking on the door yeah. at like 8 or 9 o'clock. Listen, I lived here for 11 months. I walked into that house right there four or five times. Yo, that's, that's crazy. I was living here. The guy I, went I in and took, took a shower and left. Everybody else, oh, what? that's wild. Nah, that's <laughs> his wife made dinner she was like this is not my house you <laughs> stupid oh man so yo we Open got house we got we got another one that you requested man this is this is kind of a special one you want to talk about this one we're going to get into next the, uh, the prodigy joint yeah this one right here is the tribute to prodigy you know prodigy looked out uh on a couple of joints back there for myself and um dos effects so it was only right to put down a couple of bars I and represent your, on the track with Agalaw. I looked at your Facebook page and, and you got Prodigy up there heavy right. as you yeah. late. Yeah. Agalaw is a monster. Agalaw produced this one? Uh, no, I produced you this produced one it, too, but, he's but not uh, he showed up and um, right. represented so, for sure. On this album, you produced everything or did you have... A no, like kind of like with the EPMD, I do like 80, 85, and then, you know, other dope cats like BP, he's a dope oh, producer yeah, his, who yeah. rocks. Yeah, I got his album. Okay. He's, he's got joints on that. Yeah, he got yeah. some new stuff coming. He did yeah. a song with me, Nocturnal, uh, calling, uh, who, um, you know who the best be. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we got um, Snow Goons. Yeah. They definitely came through on the album. Word. So a couple of yeah, independent new cats. Yeah, man, man. They were supposed to come through, man, but you know they got to come into the states. They're out there in Germany. Dude. Yeah, but they be moving around when they yeah. touch down in the U.S. Those yeah. guys really yeah. love the art. They were gonna stop by once, yeah. weren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're supposed we're to try to get them here. We're so. gonna make that happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's get into this prodigy joint. Crazy. Yo, that guitar. Well, that was um, what's my man's name? Give uh, me a shout out. Charlie Murata. Uh, right. You know, that's where Eric and I did our first album, Strictly Business. It's my thing, your customer. That wasn't no sample, man. Nah, nah. that's all real deal. I walked real in the deal. studio one right. day. He has all these guitars hanging up there, and I was like, yo, man, uh, you're going to have to pull one of those down today. <laughs> and then once he went in, it was like, yo, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, he got in his rock box yeah, mode. Yeah, he definitely right really Yeah, did. he killed right. that. I didn't want to look, but I had to peek a couple of times. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So he, um, has he been active all throughout the years? or did he? Yeah, he, Charlie's just, just something different with the music. You know, you think. It just takes all of these people to be in place to make it happen. That's yeah. an excellent tribute, by the way. I hope one of these guys write a tribute when see reality dies. <laughs> Well, my tribute will be, it'll probably say, they'll thank me for putting up with this guy for like three years. They'll ask me how I did it. You know, one of our chat room members referred to him and said he looked like a, a abusive Russian stepfather. Oh, man. Could you, could you see that? Oh, man. If you didn't know him. That's what you look like. <laughs> if you didn't know him, would you, I mean, that or the gardener, one or the other. I don't oh, know. Man. I don't know if we introduced you to the kitchen room security over here. BB's at the BB right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. He he's handles, the, he's the guy that comes after everybody's in the kitchen room already. <laughs> <laughs> he handles our security. So, yo, man, give out all the information about the album. When's it coming out? Where can they get it? How can they get it. it? All that stuff. You okay, get... the album comes out September 29th, okay. coming up uh, in the U.S., and then October 6th is coming out in Europe. Snow Goons is holding that down. Nice. Okay, then we're going to go on the business mentality tour in December, hit about 15 countries. Can we get some backstage? Years. Yes. VIP, Yo, you know, uh, the whole nine. <laughs> now you right out there on the tour bus, just let us know. Try yeah. us. Before you know it, you'll be right on the P camp. Oh, shit. All right, we got some, I got that going for me. You know? So, yeah, and then, uh, yo, if you want to catch up with P, I'm at PMD underscore Mike underscore Doc. Uh, on Twitter, I'm PMD of EPMD. And on Facebook, it's PMD in parentheses EPMD. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. How about any future projects with Eric? Is there anything coming up? I know you guys have been rocking a few shows lately here yeah. and there. How about a new project for you guys? Yeah, we Eric and I sat down and we're talking. We have a real, a serious album coming. You oh, know, you know, just me personally. And like, I just really feel like this next album that we do, it's called um, Big Business, the Dynamic Duel. Oh shit! And wow. um, the whole concept is just working with duels like Pete Rock, CL Smooth. Oh shit! You know what I mean? Salt and Pepper. You know, CNN, you know what I mean? Nori component, stuff like that. Yeah, but uh, we just want to put together like a real 
album, an EPMD album, and that's going to be wow. 2018. Yeah, clap it up oh, for that. Clap it up for that. All right, so wait all, for that. So all you nerds out there that say that there's no good music coming out. Yeah, there's, nah, plenty, there's good there's music on the music way. Out. You hear the boom bap? You see y'all? The boom bap was missing for a minute. Yeah. yeah. The boom bap, like that, all, all, all three of those joints I heard. You know Even I mean? the tribute, even the tribute. And the tribute wasn't as hard as the first two, obviously. It's a tribute. Yeah. But still went hard harder yeah. than anything that's going yeah, on yeah well you want to keep it broad because you know we got a couple more but you know that's good yeah 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 i, I gotta give you credit for being able to incorporate the word business and nine thousand <laughs> album titles i would have <laughs> ran out of ideas nah man we live on a big planet man there's 7.6 billion people out here with the technology it's all business the lights the camera i'm the, just saying the way you can keep using the word and it's yeah. dope. now it's business <laughs> mentality you can't yeah, hold yourself saying. back you're like right. yo when i saw I the title get out there i so, saw the title i was like they did he did it again how did he, how many times can yeah. you keep all right yeah because yeah. i'm right there like why fight it like let, yo let's just right, right, let's rattle them off we got strictly business hey wait a minute uh -huh. matt now that you got the tapes in front of you were wrong oh yeah i got some work to do he was in front of the um the mercedes Yes. Yeah, but the Mercedes was Eric. The 300E was E. Fuck, and he was, he was right there. Yeah, I was right. But he was in front of it. No, he yeah. was, yeah, he was in front of the Mercedes. Yo, you had those BBS joints back so in the real. day. We were both right. Yeah, <laughs> you were the man. Yeah, that's when it was serious. That's when, you know, come on. It starts off I with like the 6 8 right. Camaro, yeah. and please listen to my demo. Right, right, right. Like, I really built that. Was that, was, was yeah, that a long, were you guys on the long, long Island on that pick, or was that a West Coast pick? No, that's Long Island. That was, long was out there in Babylon. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Yeah. Look like, it looked like West Coast. Like. 68 Camaro is a nice body style. Yeah, still so got look, that. To, to, oh, for real? Yeah, 358. You still got that one? Yeah. Hey, listen, man. AB came walking in here. AB. Came in here with tapes. We, we all know he got mad music, but he got like yeah. every single he got tape. tapes. How many you got there? One, two, three, four, one, I'm missing the awakening. eight. Eight tapes there. You missing yeah, one of them? Eight. The Awakening? The Awakening, right? Oh, that's the only one that doesn't say business. But he, but he did possess it at one time. Run so it down, it, right? It counts. Strictly business, <laughs> unfinished business, business as usual, shade business, mm -hmm. business never personal. It's shady, man. It's, it's shady. It's shady. It's shady. That was it. It's the fee now you said. Oh, yeah, shady business. And then business is business. Business is business and back in business. And then business mentality. Business mentality. Crazy. It's all business. When you come in, you get smacked on your ass. It's all business. That's Man. right. Yo, where's the pamper? Where's the milk? Word. Where's the blanket? Yo, son. <laughs> Yo. That's the way it go. That's, that's, the music that's is crazy. crazy. It's all business. So, Yo, you know, real quick man i just want to get your opinion what do you feel about all this like this ageism shit that's happening in hip-hop now where people are just considered like throwaway irrelevant once they look like adults and shit you know what i'm saying uh, like, no who are these people i never seen them but exactly. what i can say is rock and roll mick jagger he's about 120 <laughs> right. right he sells out everything all year and he's still yeah yeah, yeah. Keith Richards, <laughs> yeah. yo keith richards yeah. they're yo, still on you tour know, come they're on, still on man. tour the, yo, the, he's still even, alive yo come on the jazz band arrow smith so you know, hip hop is hip hop, and you but know, who's doing it own. though? Is it the, is it the record the execs that's doing this shit? Like who who's making the people think that? No, this is I the just way think you know what I think. I think uh, when we was here, there was no technology. You didn't have all of this stuff going on, so the people didn't have a voice. There was no comment section. Right. So now you just got all different type of fans that's voicing their opinion. Right. Don't but know it's shit. up to you to stick to your art because right. these fans that you're talking about was like in Pampers yeah. when we was really doing it. Yeah. Right? Hip hop is they the were only still breastfeeding. Basically. Hip hop is the only music genre that's that's portrayed like a sport. Like there's a certain age and you have to get out. <laughs> yeah. And that's bullshit. That's a total industry creation. <laughs> nah, though, because right? what I realized like again when me and he's out there touring a lot of these places are packed. Big shout out to Mickey Benson and the Art of Rap. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a big shout out to Ice T. These places be packed. Word. And it strikes the debate when people from my era of 89 who didn't have kids bring their 22 year old son there. And then they, yo, now this is music. This mm -hmm. is hip hop yeah. music. So it's very important. Uh, the parents of our generation get to get out there like the rock and roll generation right. because that's all in the downtime yeah. coming home with some positive energy if they don't have nothing to listen to then how are they going to school their kids right so the kids get to come out and they just get to get the debate and plus when they see the now the kids see the show too so after me and eric finished smashing the stage they witnessed that and they'd be like wow i never saw nothing like that right. there was no lip syncing there's a real DJ up right, there right, getting yeah, yeah. busy, so they get a they get school, they get a real lesson. And I think that's all it takes, man. Is is it's the exposure. I mean, people like what they like because they're kind of told to like it. Yeah. Because they don't really have access, even though they have access to everything, they're still kind of <laughs> compartmentalized. But once they see it, man, they, they love it. Yeah, you know and plus I mean? you need the music is what drives you when you get up in the morning. It's like yo, you know, I the tiger. Right. That's when you're going in the gym to get it right. 
You know what I'm saying? So hip hop is when you build it and get in the mind right This guy's this guy's morning music is you know Christopher Cross sailing. <laughs> sailing when he wakes up. Oh man. <laughs> Tell her the yeah. man. You, you guys are having a nice discussion. Why are you bringing me into this shit? Well, we got to keep it balanced. It can't all be good. No yeah. question. It can't be all smooth. There's something wrong. Yo, do you feel like rhyming a little bit or not so much? Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever's good. Oh, man. wow. All right. Yay. All right. So here we go. We're gonna. I'm going to drop this beat. Now, this was submitted we by... Need, uh, RJ, feel free to step in. We need like, uh, like, like yeah. some boom bat, right? Oh, of course. That's all we do here, oh, okay. man. Cool. This is... Yeah, this ain't... Yeah. I'm going to yeah. check. Turn my mic up. PMD, check it. Yo, my rap flow and cadence is strong like Brady's arm. Don't get struck by lightning thinking it's a false alarm. I stay on, hit him with the 30 out six with enough power to bring down the elephant quick. When the spark is lit in the darkest pitch, when your back is up against the wall and the chrome is grip. When your chuck starts huffing and it's time to dip. Joe, tell your chick better move quick. Yo, the flow swift, peace spitting. Fisherman hat on my dome, but no fishing. Body on the side of the docks, bones missing. MCs caught up, off in the failed mission. Yo, it's the mic doc on flip the script. PMD freestyling, I'm on that shit. I got RJMJ to the right and mix. EPMD in the house on some next shit. Business mentality is my reality. Big dough in the pockets, bitch, change the salary. Can't mess with me, yo, I'm rolling with Valerie. Hey yo, PMD, yo, I do it all day and I don't stop to the hip hop and the tick tock and the mics that sparked after dark and the niggas at home playing the hearts, it's all good in the hood. The boom back's back, no slack, nigga, get the Bozak. I represent the hip hop and the hardcore, rough, rugged, the raw, peace, stay on tour. I'm doing it with my man Dave and he still gets paid. Hey yo, I'm on the rampage. I got, <laughs> look. I got fans that people know that they've been behind us. I'm smoking loud, wipe and shake off these Balenciagas. Feel tough, don't act tough, don't ever push me. I'll get violent, I'm Donald Trump. I'll grab a pussy. It ghostwriter got ghostwriters, you niggas rookie. He wrote it down and pre spit it, then y'all took it. The club owner don't even know that he phantom booking. My people know that we got it. Niggas know that we took it. The made us steady talking. The moaners, they always book us. They know they dealing with trappers. Selling the while we cook it. They disrespected a rapper and now they catching the bullet. Yeah. I said your fame kind of low. You RJ. That nigga. Bitch, I'm fucking Grande like Mac Miller. I'm sucking dick and choose uh. his gum, make the sack. Go. Yeah. I got him hating on yeah. the chains. Yeah. Listen, uh, if it wasn't for hip hop, I'd be out scrambling. You can't doubt, I stand out, I'm outstanding. My mouth rambling a tech nine without jamming. These rappers, I fell off a proud parent. The overlord of the vocal cord, you know it's raw. Listening to vision, the position I was molded for. I behave like I don't know the law. Throw a sword, throw for my respect. You should show it more going forward. Banana clips and knockers apple off. Catch you with your girl, your bay watch like Hasselhoff. I'm here to bury you, scary you when the mask is off. Area, turn your interior into applesauce. Never slacking off, never think it's rapper saw. Catch a nigga yapping, I'm gladly smacking his glasses off. Spitting fire, the rabbit dragon, you'll have a loss. That's for dropping that wackness and trying to pass it off. The more the merry, I'm better than ordinary. Scary the way I'm cooking these rappers is culinary. Manslaughter was voluntary, I'm voluntary. Make a movie out of these niggas, I'm Tyler Perry. Say Little hello to the scammers with the gift cards. G's up, top billing with the kicks on. Yes. You run the bummy arms out. We ain't hugging. I have my black girl flipping Gabrielle Douglas. We ain't even liking music. You ain't saying nothing. Uh, we could jam over bread. That's an English muffin. I needed bud for my G. I had to hit my cousin. I told the plug Thanksgiving. Now that's the stuffing. Yeah, I grew up with a G code starter pack. The gunner yell at your spine. That's how you holler back. And you ain't never making money. Where your racks at? I'm in a room with three bitches taking cat naps. They giving head while I'm rolling up a fat pack. I'm switching faces with the fingers like Snapchat. Exposing pictures on cam like cat. Listen, uh, if I was to lend you my eyes and ears, your head would explode. It's the best stretch of the road, the next episode. The effing epitome, so effortless I go. Epic in flesh and bone, Led Zeppelin on your bones. Single mother raised, silver spoon wasn't gave. Loaded 12 gauge in the cover during my Muppet face. Yeah. Black boy, no black daddy, imagine that. I was more concerned with Mac Daddy and Daddy Mac. Daddy Kane, step daddy sniffing cane. Gradual strain on my adolescent brain. Stepping on the crack, you can break your mother's back. That's an absolute fact. It was crack when we was playing. 
I'm pinning the pantheon of a champion. Squint, let it float the attention, never camp again. I'm a walking cashier in the cashmere. 26 blizzards, I'm a wizard with the glassware. Michael Corleone in the yeah. crime, I'm with the shits. Me, Robin Parrish, and smoking all in the whip. Yeah. We just rolled a pound, I'm running through all the zips. We just ran up on the plug, we took that outlet and dip. Yeah. Homie ran up with his kin, they looking pissed. Uh. Rob said, yo, RJ, chill, I got the Smith. Uh. That nigga said, oh, you can't aim, it's evident. Yeah. I let you talking dead relatives, I never miss. Uh. Cops came, I had to stash all the evidence. Shorty came through, the getaway drive was heaven sent. Yeah. She taught me off with both hands, it's double grip. She said, my dick stick to gum like double mint. Uh. Yeah, track one, two, yeah, Jeez. Mm. yeah, listen, listen, uh, uh, last of a dying breed, I am he, I ain't squeeze Siamese, put you in a bag like a pile of leaves, dope as fuck, cold enough, make fire freeze, let your eye examine these thirteens, podiatry, the Don been on the grind like no brake pads, cash money been on my mind, I need that Drake cash, I roll heavy, these cowards and in my weight class, busting with authority, 42nd and 8th ass. Yeah. I just laughed, these rap niggas is fish bags. Jigs. Yo bitch ass to get shot, punch, kick, stab. The slow grind never ended for the quick uh -huh. dash. Nick bags was green fives, Donovan McNabb. Uh, I attack in a raging whirlwind. Tapping your chin like I'm fucking your Asian girlfriend. They don't believe it can happen until the world end. Raw high fabric, these faggot rappers in Sherlin. Listen, you ain't making money, nigga, calm down. Uh, a yeah. young nigga have to run him, you a damn clown. Uh, Look, listen, you ain't making money, right? Check, yeah, check. yeah. Uh, Flip the script radio all day, every day. Hip hop in yeah. the house. You yeah. ain't making money, nigga. Calm down. Uh -huh. Ball violate a soldier like Chris Brown. Uh -huh. I play the corner like I'm Brevis getting picks now. Man, I sold a pound of lettuce for a quick style. Uh -huh. To a bird from the burbs with a quick mouth. They Charlie Sheen, all these actors feeling sick now. If you ain't catching my angles and cut them cameras off. I'm a soldier, I'm on to some kind of man of war. Spontaneous smoker, blowing loud in your parents' loft. Look, I'm fucking at Amazon with the panties off. Was coming through for the catalog, get a catalog. Had a blunt, three shots of Henny pills on a can of raw. I'm going insane, telling to cut them cameras off. Discriminated yeah. and hated, let's cut the knives. I always had to fight to win the shadow. Boxing. Come on, Bayley, Nathan, Bacardi, Gold, I'm what, what, solid. What? Yeah. Young G's or old G's, and now we wildin'. Come on, <laughs> RJ, yeah. flip the script. Wow, yo, clap. Jigs. Yeah. Right. That's, that's what I'm talking flip about. Flip the script, radio all day, every day. Yes, sir. That's a yo, live fellas. mic representation right there. Right. John Jigs, RJ, RJ. yes. PMD, yo. Nothing but love. Yo, I want to thank y'all for making that trek Shout out here man. coming through, man. No this chat room was live. Yo, clap it up, everybody in here. Let them know how live it is. Yeah. 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 It's definitely live up in here. All right. John Jiggs, RJ, the realest. Big shout out to Flip the Script Radio for sure for having us today. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yo. 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 That shit was so fuego, man. Oh, I can't even sit down right now. That shit was uh -oh. crazy. Uh-oh. Pause. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, AB. <laughs> oh. Abe's gonna be at the corn dog stand. It's a hot <laughs> dog. Pause. Soda. Oh shit. All right. What Soda. do we got there? We got a little announcement there. Yeah, right? we got tales from the flip, man. It's every oh, okay. Sunday with Phil G. You guys, better start listening to him, man. You're missing a good show. That's every Sunday, seven to nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Phil G, the script keeper. Listen to him because he's gonna die this weekend. Well, he is gonna die. <laughs> I hope he doesn't die, but if he dies, then catch him the following week. Yeah. All right, you can catch him the following week if he dies. Phil, right. if you die in a flood, can I have your shoes? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, man, he plays the best of our archives every Sunday. You got to check him out, man. The way he mixes it up, puts it together. He's a beast. Check him out. Phil G. Yes, Phil sir. G to nobody. You got to add the nobody. There's a lot of Phil Gs out there. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. there's only one Phil G to nobody. But they're all somebody. This this one's nobody. He's, he's nobody. nobody. Yeah. So he's, good. Really, he's really nobody. Yeah, shout out to Phil G. Hey, this was my favorite show. Yo, this oh, right yeah? here was my favorite show. Really? Did Yo, Ralph McDaniels is now my number two show. Okay. The weather, the weather is kind of fucking interfering with the, you know, with the broadcast a little bit, but that's to be expected, man. It's a little crazy. Well, we heard it, and yeah. it's my favorite show. We were here, yeah. so it's all right. They, <laughs> everybody in the chat room should have been here. If they really want to hear it, make your way over here. Mihiro, <laughs> make your way over here. Mihiro. Uh, there's a five dollar charge. Yeah. <laughs> For what? That, that was the dopest interview and, and for the alley and, and dope mic rep after, after that. 
Yeah, Yo, I got to shout out P, um, uh, Parrish, man. He was uh, extremely humble, man. Very, very, very good guy. Very humble. You know, Par Parrish Smith, RJ, John Jiggs, Fuego. I say it all the time, man. You know, it's, it's, good radio. it's amazing how you can meet people that are like crazy, legendary, iconic in this hip hop shit. And they're the most humble, down to earth, friendly. Yet you'll meet some kid who like got some shit on SoundCloud and he's like, you know, talk to my manager. Yeah. Hey, you know what? And, and, who and, are you? And willing to tell the history he's told a thousand times. His, but his interview was dope. Yeah. I worked on, I tried, I put a little bug in his ear. I said, we need a Paris Smith J Force collaboration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I saw. I Could you imagine that? that? That would be real dope. It would. I PMD in the Guinea? That's the name yeah. of the album. Yeah. yeah. PMD. What are we talking about here? That's the album title right there. Fisherman Caps in the Cadillac. <laughs> It'd be called PMD. Ah, I like that. PMD for so. Zool. <laughs> Get the Bozak, you <laughs> fuck you. <yeah. laughs> Tales from the script. 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 Hey, yo, foul mouth. Matter of fact, pull up that joint. Pull up that joint one time. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Back up in this shit. Big shout to Misanthropic Altruist for tuning in. Big up Ruben. Big up C Reality. Mad LT. Kaheem, what up? Jamelia, what the fuck? You're like, there's too much talk and immediately it goes into music and you bounce. Come on, girl. What's up with that? Big shout and salute to Gray Stoke and the FTSR staff. Big shout to Hip Hop Stacks. Happy holidays, flippers. Exclusive that you never heard before. Full, 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 full. Flip the script radio, y'all. Backslash. Think of the math, now do a double take. Backlash. Rain in the green, nobody brought a right. Hashtag, give me the loot. I'm blowing up the safe front flash. Open my coat and introduce my snake. See, I'm a charmer and nobody's baby for the soul. Don't bother, sugar. If I want it, then I'll call you hooker. Y'all are stuck in the ninth grade. Walk around and get laid. Meanwhile, all day, I'ma get paid. Nah, here you can't stay. Ain't gotta go home, but get the fuck about my way. I ain't falling for foreplay. The heresy's for heretics. Forget all the hearsay. I'ma do me, MGT, baby. Going my own way. Time stay shady, bitch. You catch it the quick fade. Dirty Harold, double barrel, and the death slail. She self made, make no mistake. I'ma get paid. Even if you rap all right or rap all night, wasting half your life, it's like chasing the dragon. Something that used to be great, but now is only basic and average. Still making the tunes or waiting, something that will awaken the magic and make it all happen. But it never does, and I'm pissed because I'm getting old. No one told me that what bullshit does. Nah, I had to figure it out, and it's surprising. Sick of having to adjust and compromise, and I'm sick of having albums out when no one buys them. Despite all that, getting and paid and surviving <laughs>